Water is such a powerful tool for creating movement and energy within your 3D scenes and it's something that I've personally used in almost all of my renders but it's also been really really tricky to understand and figure out how to actually get this to look photorealistic. I've tried countless methods to create water with LuxCore, Octane, you know, different render engines within Blender and also fluid simulation and I think I've found the best method that's worked for me. To show you this technique, I'm going to be using the urban cabin scene um, and you can check out the behind the scenes at the end of the video. But if you want to make a pulse around really easily, just create a cube, resize it to 5 meters by 10 meters, go into edit mode with a tab and go into face select and click on inset faces. Click and drag to create another smaller face on the top and you want to extrude this down with E. You can then select everything because we're lazy, mark seam, control A to reset the scale and then UV unwrap. Then you just need to resize this in the UV editor based on your texture um, and you can just chuck on any material you like. I like to use concrete or tile. Um, you can make a simple one with a concrete texture from Polyhaven and then just plug the base color into base color, roughness into roughness and normal into a normal map and then into normal done. So for the water I start by making a plane and centering it over the pool surround. The next step is to create displacement for the water ripples. You could do a few different methods here to achieve this and the most common methods are the ocean modifier, displacement maps and simulation. We're going to be using the ocean modifier for this pool. Let's make the resolution 30, depth 2 meters, scale 0.12 and then the smallest wave is 0.01 and shallow water as the spectrum. We then want to copy this as a backup, add it to a backup collection and hide this. Then apply the first pool plane and we can start to cut out the outside of the pool. So now we want to work on the lighting and you want to pick a time of day where the overhead sun is you know, pretty strong um, and that's going to be creating the caustics later on. I personally like to use HDRIs instead of the sunlight as they contain a lot of color and light information that adds nice subtleties to the scene that you wouldn't normally get. The downside is that we have very little control over the strength of the sun as it's essentially a photo of a sky Whereas with a blender sunlight, we can control the sun angle and intensity easily. What this means is that you need to find an HDRI with a strong enough sun to cast reflections on the base of the pool, which can be kind of difficult sometimes. So make sure to download 5 or 10 and test them out. After downloading a free sunny HDRI from Polyhaven, go to your world shader, drag the HDRI in, plug it into the background node. Go ahead and enable Node Wrangler in the add-ons if you haven't already and press Ctrl T on the HDRI. Let's now jump into Cycles mode to see what we've done. So now that we've got the lighting mainly sorted, let's go on to create the pool water material and then we can refine the lighting later on. So you want to click on the water plane and create a new material. Call it Pool Water. Delete the principled shader and create a glass shader node. Change its IOR or index of refraction to 1.333 and connect it to the surface input of the material output node. It's literally that straightforward. So now that we've created the pool water material, the last step is the real secret source that will create beautifully realistic water and that's caustics. Which is the pattern of light that is created when light rays are refracted or reflected by a curved surface such as water. These patterns often appear as bright intricate lines or shapes on surfaces beneath or around water. To enable caustics we want to set our pool plane as casting caustics. So click on your pool plane, go to object options, shading and then caustics and click on cast shadow caustics. We also want to set our pool base to receive the cast caustics. So click on your pool base, go to object options, shading, caustics and click receive shadow caustics. So the last step here is to enable caustics in your world settings. 
So go across to world shader settings and click shadow cool sticks. As a side note, if your HDRI isn't casting powerful enough cool sticks, the sun probably just isn't strong enough in the photo. So just go ahead and pick another one and see how it looks. In our render settings, let's lower filter glossy to 0.25 and indirect light clamping to 50 to have a nice ray traced reflective and refractive cool sticks. And feel free to play around with this to suit your individual scene. As a bonus tip, after you've set up the pool water material and the lighting, feel free to play around with the material you can pick like concrete or tile, and there's so many different options that you can pick that will actually impact the overall render and create different moods and feelings. I personally like to use concrete and a nice green or blue tile, and I use those on a regular basis. So now that you've got your pool water sorted, if you want to figure out how I created the rest of the scene, go ahead to the next video linked in the description and check out my urban cabin breakdown. You can also join my free discord and share your work and get feedback from the community. And then there's also my Instagram if you want a little bit of inspiration. So I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.